The mirrored glass skyscraper of the line will be constructed in Saudi Arabia, according to blueprints. It will cost the nation $1 trillion and be situated in the desert. The line is envisioned as an entire metropolis made up of two 500-meter-tall towers that run parallel to one another, which will follow one another parallel for 170 km over desert, sea, and mountainous terrain. In this video, we will examine specific facts to determine whether this project is more than just a high-profile peer firm or whether it has potential, take into account the fierce competition among the Arab Peninsula nations, and examine earlier high-profile projects that everyone has since forgotten about. Let's first determine Saudi Arabia's location and the reasons for their vociferous self-promotion. The UAA, Kuwait, Qatar, and other countries border it. It is the largest nation on the Arabian Peninsula. Each of these nations has the same issue since oil production generates significant revenue and is expected to continue for another 20 to 30 years, according to experts. Oil is being used less and less as a source of energy globally. Renewable energy should take its place. Each nation started to put out its own action plan and vision for a world without oil. It is predicated on the economy's diversification with a focus on commerce, top-notch healthcare and education, as well as a welcoming climate for foreign investment and business people. Mega projects in infrastructure are what everyone in the world is talking about. Naom, a massive undertaking in Saudi Arabia, was unveiled by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in January 2021. In fact, this territory, which will concentrate on biotechnology, robotics, and green energy, is bigger than the all of Kuwait. There will be three cities included in it. Trojana, a sports and recreation area, where the ski track will be Oxagon, a hub for cutting edge technology industry and research, and the line, which we'll discuss in more depth. The city is anticipated to serve as a conduit between Saudi Arabia's northwest and the Red Sea coast. The line appears to the eye as a long, tall, rectangular mirror wall that stretches into the distance. Think of two Shanghai financial centers that are parallel to one another and span 106 miles. 656 feet will make up the breadth. The line will cover 34 square kilometers and have a capacity for 9 million people. Residents will have 20-minute high-speed rail travel and complete access to all required public facilities on foot. A network of airports will be built in addition to the line. The project's ecological purity for the environment is a crucial aspect. The line won't emit carbon dioxide or other sorts of garbage that might harm the environment. It is anticipated that the project's energy needs will be met by the largest green energy power plant in the world, as well as other renewable energy sources, including solar, wind, and other. Saudi Arabia hopes to enhance its GDP by roughly $50 billion and add 380.0 new employment as a result of this initiative. Another ambitious objective is to draw 100 million tourists annually and maintain Saudi Arabia's competitiveness with Dubai and Abu Dhabi, other popular tourist destinations in the Persian Gulf. By 2030, Prince Mohammed hopes to see the metropolis finished. Engineers, though, estimate that it may take at least 50 years. Whether the project will be able to accomplish its objectives in a relatively short amount of time is a major concern given the scope of its aims. Let's examine what the detractors have to say. Carbon dioxide output, according to estimations made by architect Philip Oldfield, 1.8 million tons of carbon dioxide will be emitted during the development of this project due to the materials employed. This exceeds the yearly carbon output of several European nations. Neom claims that they are investigating ecologically friendly technology. These advancements must eventually result in zero carbon emissions. If the project is to be completed by 2030, would there be enough time to develop these technologies? Aversion to foreign investors, the country's ultra-conservative investment climate, which despite recent revisions continues to be the tightest in the region, worries foreign investors and business people. For instance, the buildings in King Abdullah's business area are still largely unoccupied, in part because Westerners do not find Riyadh to be alluring. Rumor has it that one solution to the issue is that the Saudi government permits alcohol consumption to draw in international financiers. Recently, he eased the restrictions on Valentine's Day festivities and movie theaters. Let's assume that the government does use these steps in order to draw in more foreign nationals. But are the citizens willing to accept the nation's dual policy? 
Will there ever be conflicts between those who uphold traditional Arab values and others who find them strange and unfathomable? Effect on the animals and flora? Environmental activists are worried. How may the indigenous flora be impacted by a 170 chem, long 500 meter high mirror barrier that spans the terrain while reflecting light and heat from the desert? This most likely means that the ecosystem will suffer. However, as the project is being managed by specialists, they must unavoidably take this into consideration. Rivalry between neighbors. Saudi Arabia confronts intense economic rivalry in the GC, particularly from the UAA in sectors including mega projects, banking, and tourism. As the region's financial hub, Dubai is being challenged by Riyadh. As an illustration, consider the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, which aimed to topple the Burj Khalifa as the world's highest structure the Dubai Creek Tower, a building whose ultimate height is unknown, began development after Jeddah's. The project was soon placed on hold, along with the development of Jeddah Tower, and it appears that this was done as a joke to prevent Jeddah from attempting to break the record and compete with Dubai for the title of the highest structure in the world. For international business, this lack of consistency and openness is unappealing. Let's take a look at some more initiatives that no one has mentioned. Frozen initiatives mega projects that have previously been abandoned in Saudi Arabia are another tomb for billions of dollars worth of infrastructure expenditures. We can think back to the Economic Cities program of 2006, which was intended to offer 4.5 million citizens by 2020 and diversify the economy, in addition to the aforementioned Jeddah Tower, however. Since that time, the projects have languished, and the economic city of King Abdullah, the program centerpiece, now only has 4,000 residents. The projects of the neighbors are not flawless, too. In Kuwait, Madin et al. Harir is an idle mega project with a tower that is 1001 meters high and a 36 kilometer bridge in Jisr al Mahaba between Khor and Bahrain has an abandoned construction plan for a 40 kilometer dam. Only time will tell if the line will have the same disappointing ending as other endeavors in the past. There is insufficient time. The majority of mega projects are built up over the course of several years. After all, unplanned occurrences happen all the time and have the potential to put an end to the project. However, if all goes according to plan, humans will be able to leave the next generation with another, another wonder of the world that will provide them joy for many years to come. The scope of the project is really interesting. This is an advancement, much like the conquering of space that Elon Musk has been working on. It has been claimed that urban designers and architects are considering the construction of a brand new model city with the intention of assisting Saudi Arabia in its transition to a post-carbon future. On the other hand, in terms of the design and construction of it, a significant amount of mental and physical fortitude resources and expertise will be required. Does Saudi Arabia have it in their possession? Do you think that this whole thing is simply a giant soap bubble, or do you think that there will actually be a new wonder of the world? Leave a comment below and let us know. Click on these videos to watch about other shocking projects.